Greetings, scrapbookers and creative friends. This is Linda Batuk. I am an independent advisor for Creative Memories, and I would like to talk to you a little bit today about our Serene Waters collection. It has been out since June, but it is so beautiful, and I know some of you are just coming back from vacations now. So, um, and I'm sure many of those vacations included some kind of water activity. If you did a staycation, you may have had water too that you went swimming or to the beach or to local areas fishing and so forth. In any case, um, I wanted to bring attention to the fact that it we just an ended uh, Coral Reef Awareness Week. It was July 18th through the 24th this year, but just like every day should be Earth Day, every day should be Coral Reef Awareness as well. You know, we have to be so careful because um, these fragile ecosystems are not doing well between the increased global temperatures, um, our sunscreen that gets on our uh, coral reefs and blocks sunlight and keeps them from growing. You know, there are a few things you can do. Of course, we know not to litter and, and pollute and so forth, but even your sunscreen, you could get uh, find coral reef friendly sunscreen that would be better for you and better for the, uh, for the reef as well. Now, one thing I do wanna mention as well is that if you go into the water, it can even be in your pool, but especially if you go into fresh water, salt water, there is nothing like a mask to open up a whole new world. Whether you're an adult or child, it's magical when you can actually see what's going on. Okay, sometimes it's a little creepy, depends on where you, where you are, but it can be a lot of fun. So I, I would say you might wanna have a mask. Now, I'm going to share the Serene Waters collection with you, but before I depart, I just want to say one last thing, and that is we should always follow the diver's code. We take only pictures and we leave only bubbles. And I'm going to show you how you can take those pictures and put them into an album and have a beautiful collection of your memories. Okay, let's take a look at this beautiful Serene Waters collection. This is our um, the designer album that comes with it, an embossed, beautiful metallic design. Um, this happens to be the Fast to Fab album, which has the pre-decorated pages. And I will show you here a little overview of the different um, designs that are available. Now, the beauty of the um, has to have is that you have pre-designed pages. You have very little work to do. Um, you can add some creative touches of embellishments and stickers and so forth. But basically, the pages are direct are, are already decorated for you, making it fast and fabulous. Now let's take a look at the first of the papers. There are some beautiful. I'm just going to move this whole thing over. The first um, are the Serene Waters Tone on Tone Paper Pack. Uh, beautiful designs, and um, one of the other advisors said that they do um, something when they get their paper pack, and I like to do the same thing, is when you open it, because they are double-sided, go ahead and have, and you can turn one over, turn it over, so that when you're going through the paper, you can just see all the different designs that you have available. So beautiful um, colors, <clears throat> as you can see, designs that would be wonderful for any water adventure whether it doesn't matter what water, body of water it is or if you're just playing in the sprinklers. You have a beautiful design. This is the tone on tone. The next are the beautiful designer pages. These I just fell in love with. I cannot get enough of these. And I'm gonna show you a couple of things I did with this later. All right, so these designs, some of these, um, if you saw my video about uh, no, um, Leave Nothing Behind, some of these gorgeous pages that are solid design that you may not want to um, lose that design. I showed you how you could cut an inch or two inches off of the edges and you could still keep that design. But you see how, how beautiful and versatile these are? Doesn't matter what, whether it's a vacation or a staycation, if you were anywhere and you were playing in the water or sitting by the water, you've got these gorgeous designs. And I'm going to show you what I did with some. Now, in addition, for this pack, they included some vellum paper. You can see I cut one of the pieces and you can see how they're beautiful, fine, they're translucent so that you can see through them 
And if you wanted to add a color design, colored paper behind it, you could. Um, on the designs I'll show you, I just used white paper, but we don't get vellum very often, and it's really a treat. You can see I used this one. I'll show you what I made. But what a pretty, pretty addition that is. Now let's take a look at our our um, stickers, embell sticker embellishments. Not embellishment. These are stickers as part of the embellishments. But you see, they have a variety of things, so it doesn't matter um, what kind of fresh or salt water, whatever it is, whatever the situation, you know, you have by the lake and you have, you know, obvious ocean pictures, but all beautiful. And then they have these wonderful little puffy stickers. We love these little puffy stickers that are part of the embellishment pack. And you have a three pack of stickers. You can, one, one pack is uh, border stickers. And you see you have, if you wanted to make a double page spread, you have both of these um, that could do for, for, your, for your left and right side. And then these cute little sea stars. And here, if you look at these, again, very versatile, uh, flat. You know, whether you're going in a, a fresh water, salt water, you've got all that wonderful equipment. And then here we've got some sayings, some titles, some thoughts about working. One missing, you'll see that in a minute. Okay, and these, these these laser cut borders, I'm telling you, they are just to die for. I love these so. They are double sided, so you have different colors available. And I will say that if you're going to um, make you plan, do you think you might make a double page spread? You do have to buy two packs of these because they come with one of each. And the beauty of these is you add this to your page maybe paper on different colored contrasting, but coordinating paper underneath, you've got an instantly beautiful border. And of course, when you're using these kind of little, with lots of little openings, that's when we want to use our repositionable tape runner. It forgives many, many things. Now, included with this collection as well um, are the, is the mat pack. Love the mat packs because they come in four and a half by six and a half and four by six. And they are both horizontal and vertical designs, so it's very flexible. Um, sometimes they have sayings on them, they have designs. Sometimes they make the same design of, put on both sides, but see here's fresh water. Um, all kinds of lovely designs. And let's say you have a four by six picture that you want to frame. You can use one of these mat packs, put it right on there, and voila, you already have it done for you. Again, they are uh, both horizontal and, and vertical, and they coordinate beautifully with our entire collection. So here's what I did with one of them. That one uh, designer pack, <clears throat> I took my jumbo circle, and I cut out this circle, but I was very careful to keep the, the remainder, and you'll see how I use that in a minute. This is the, from the designer paper pack with the jumbo circle with the red blade. I use repositionable tape just in case I didn't get it just right. It's forgiven. And then here are my, I use foam squares to pop our little embellishments. This I would use for a title page. Um, there are some stickers I added. Um, I think Seth was, some of the stickers were missing on the page that I showed you of the sticker pack. Um, that's a beautiful design and I would love to use this as a title page. Here's another design. With that leftover, I used this to frame. I used and cut another circle out of a different paper, and then I cut smaller circles for uh, pictures, and I'm all ready and set to go. You can see I added embellishments here, which I did pop with foam squares, just to be more fun. Let's see our next one. So this next one is the vellum paper, and I decided to do that same design, which you could do with any of these, like I showed you in our Leave Nothing Behind. And that is I cut I cut an inch off of each end, and then I cut the remainder in half. So now I have lots and lots of space for photos without covering up this gorgeous vellum paper. So that's another nice way to use it, but preserve it at the same time. Next, I want to show you, we have, uh, Creative Memories has card kits, and I used one of the blank cards from the blank card kit. I used some of the embellishments. You're wondering about that cute little punch. I know you are, the border punch. That happens to be part of this collection as well. It's called Friendly Fish, and it is a border punch. And um, you can use this, as you can see, it's two different colors because I punched orange fish and navy fish, and then I uh, added, I just fussy cut, 
easy fussy cut a couple of orange fish on there, use some of the embellishments from the pack, and then who doesn't like to decorate the envelope as well? Another little strip of vellum and a sticker on there. Now we do, when you're using vellum, you do have to use a specific adhesive, which of course we have for you. Um, there is a vellum tape runner so that you don't see the adhesive through there. And when I was at the um, Creative Minds Conference, we made this little pocket out of the out of this collection, used an embellishment there. We used the vellum as a pocket and then added some little stickers on there. So this, this Friendly Fish comes as part of the collection as well. It's available. Oh, and I forgot to tell you about my cute little fish eyes. That is from the blue chalking pen. You know, we had a chalking pen uh, last year, I believe it was around in October. Um, around Croptoberfest time, but this is the, uh, they made a blue one now. It's so much fun, and it's like a magical pen because when you draw in there, it doesn't show up at first, but as it dries, it becomes, um, it becomes visible. And before I move on to the next thing that I want to show you, which are the pages I made with this collection, also part of this, um, uh, Serene Waters, we have sailfish, although I have, I'm sail, sailfish, sailboats, I have to say that it doesn't look real serene to me, but that's okay. It's a very cute punch. Looking a little rough, but makes a beautiful border as well with the um, sailboats. In June, we had the uh, sandcastle, and with the sandcastle, you may have seen that on my page that I made here. I took a circle and I punched out the sandcastles just to add a little touch there. So all of our collections, um, that are in the same kind of theme, whether it be water or whatever it is, the holiday, they always try to coordinate the colors so that you can mix and match. Now, take a look at what I did with these pages. So uh, another advisor watched on YouTube, she folded this beautiful paper and then used the Friendly Fish Punch. And I cut, went ahead and I cut and I kept it in the same order because I'm gonna be covering it up with four by four photos. This is not four by four, but you get the idea. And I wanted it to be the same feel with the same, in the same order. So I could have used the flip side, which is more of a solid, but I decided I wanted to keep it looking the same. But what a beautiful page that is. Really highlight four of your favorite memories from a, from a water vacation or staycation. So now I'm going to put, oh, one more thing. They um, often come out with different recipe templates. And for this one, this for this collection, they also came out with the Sunrise Sunset. You could see that you could use just the bottom part of that um, on a page, either at the top of your page or at the bottom. And you could trace a rainbow on there. You could. The beauty of these is you can pick and choose what you wanna use. You can make it as intricate or as simple as you wish. Whatever makes you happy because there's no right way or wrong way to scrapbook. Now, I took my friendly fish and I punched out some more of the borders because you can use these. You could, you could just put part of this on your page. You could put it down the side of your page. Many, many versatile ideas that you can do. You can mix and match, do sailboats and fish, and so forth. So I am going to put on my, um, underneath here, I will put my information about how you can order this because I know you want to have it to make an album of those memories for Serene Waters. So I will put the ordering information um, at the bottom of my description and I would love to help you document your memories. So just click on that link if you'd like to shop. I would love to be your advisor. Don't forget to like this video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.